Welcome to your weekly reading from January 4th to the 10th, 2021. I'm going to start by pulling your Spirit of the Wheel card. Can I Spirit of the Wheel for, for Aquarius? Did I call you Aquarius? If I didn't, I'm sorry. I know I'm talking to Aquarius. Sorry, I just... The energy from another reading is lingering. I'm going to have to break it. Hold on a second. I have to break the energy. <clears throat> Can I have a Spirit of the Wheel for Aquarius from January 4th to the 10th? There we go, 2021. Thank you. That happens sometimes, Aquarius, where the energy is so strong from another reading. It hasn't happened actually in 400 readings. This is the first time. But it does happen when I do personal readings. All right, I'll read out the oracle cards as they become uh, relevant. And you want magic cards for Aquarius? I have magic cards for Aquarius from January 4th to the 10th. Thank you. Can I have more? Um, Aquarius, thank you to everybody that has subscribed. Uh, for those of you that haven't, please make sure you do so I can enter you into the free drawing um, for, a, for, a, for a free half an hour tarot reading from me. The drawing takes place every single week. And if you download the extended reading from the monthly readings and the yearly readings, you will be entered in twice that week. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. All right, I'm really picking up your energy, Aquarius. Um, I don't feel the spirit world, your spirit world, your spirit people. I don't, I don't feel them around me today, Aquarius. What's going on? They have like overtime in the spirit world. Why are they not here? Are you here? Are you here? They're not here. That's weird. All right. Spirit world. Can I have um, Aquarius's energy from January 4th to the 10th? Oh, they just came in. <laughs> Hold on, I have to let them blend with my energy. That's hilarious. Now they rabbit in in my ear. hilarious they're telling me off you know what they're telling me they're telling me that if i had a day and time that i read every week like a specific day and time that they would be there no no that's not the way it works i'm in charge all right can i have energy uh spirit thank you for um uh, Aquarius so um, bring forward the messages that will help Aquarius from the 4th to the 10th please thank you I'm just looking at your cards here your oracle cards hmm spirit They're giving me the information. Sorry, that, thank you. That's one of the reasons why the cards are taking so long to flip out. It's because they're also giving me the info. Any more? Not yet. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, what's happening, Aquarius, is that there's a breakthrough at some point. Time is fluid. So this could be um, around... Not necessarily between the week of the 4th and the 10th, but it might be. There's a breakthrough and a clarity in regards to how you want to move forward and giving birth to the life that you want. I feel like you're in a whole new energy. Um, like psychically, that's what I feel for you. I feel like um, uh, moon energy is very, very important for you right now. So check out how i'm not an astrologer so i can't really tell you this but the spirit world are making me feel and i can feel it psychically check out the full moon 
uh, for Aquarius. I, I don't know what that means, but check out, I don't know if there's a calendar for full moon. I don't know. I don't know nothing about astrology. I'm just having the spirit world tell me. Check out the full moon when the full moon's going to be in Aquarius. Is that a thing? I don't know if it's a thing, but check it out. Google it. See if there is. Um, because what the spirit world is telling me is that um, you're having mental clarity and breakthrough and inner vision about giving birth to the life that you want. But some of the ideas and the clarity may not be sharpened until the full moon in Aquarius. Now, this is the age of Aquarius. Did you look it up, Aquarius? Remember I told you before? It's not called the, 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 the age of bananas or oranges. It's called the age of Aquarius. So something here, planetary, is going to be affecting your energy where there'll be like courage. So where you have the mental clarity now and it's all stirring up and you're ready to give birth to new ideas, there's like a final push, but it feels like it comes in with moon energy. Here we have the chariot card in the reverse, which really, really clarifies that for me because the chariot is cancer in the upright position. I mean, it's the cancer in the reverse position too. But in the upright position, um, it indicates fast moving energy. And because it is in the reverse position, it means that, yes, you've had clarity, there is breakthrough, there is inner vision, there is, your, there is definitely an owning of the truth of what it is that you want. But the defining and giving birth to um, the momentum is not there. The momentum is not there and birth has not taken place. It's almost like you're at the beginning of the birthing process, which means just fertility, doesn't, isn't it? In order for you to give birth to a baby, there has to be ideas there. Seeds have to be planted. They have to be watered. They have to be nurtured. Then there is a freezing over of the ground. And then in the springtime, they bloom, right? So it's that kind of energy where the seeds are now being planted, but, but you're not in forward movement. And that is almost like seeds are being planted. And so patience is required. We have the lovers in the upright position for you. And so those of you that can, I'm not doing a love reading here. I'm just doing a general reading. Take it, take it as a, take it as a person if it makes sense to you. But for me, um, in this scenario, what it indicates is that it's really important for you as you move forward to be in love with whatever it is you manifest does that make sense so if that's a person you want in your life that that it's reciprocated right there's a reciprocation of energy that's where i'm going with this there's a reciprocation of energy that it brings you happiness it brings you fulfillment it brings you um joy laughter satisfaction all those things um and to clarify that, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, which signifies where you are right now, which is there is a lack of that in your life right now, okay? And that you want to manifest that. So that's really kind of, I know it sounds weird, but that's really positive. Because when you identify what you want, Aquarius, you then can bring it into the physical world. When you can't identify what you want, all it is is this vague dream that can't get manifested, right? Um, uh, so for example, let me give you an example. Um, uh you see, you see what's holding up these oracle cards? It's this thing right here. It's a card holder. It's a placeholder, right? Now, I when I first started doing readings, I was like, I need something, something to hold up these cards. And I didn't know what I needed. I just knew I needed something. I didn't have a clear idea in my mind. So when I went into Amazon, I didn't know what to type. I put in tarot, tarot card holders, card holders, all kinds of stupid shit. And weird stuff was coming up. And, um, and finally, I 
remembered that um like in weddings they have or in a dinner party there are placeholders right to put somebody's name on a name card holder and so when i put in name card holder just guess what came up a selection of all different kinds of name card holders now is it a tarot card holder no that's not in the description but it's exactly what i needed to do the job that i wanted and that's what i'm talking about when you're vague with your ideas you're going to get a vague response but when you become more explicit specific you know it's a process of getting there right first of all it was a process of the bloody cards falling down like, and because i was propping them up all over the place and i couldn't i couldn't get to them when i needed them i couldn't hold them up to you uh in a secure way um that wasn't me blocking the cards with my hands right so it's a process of of understanding what it is that you want before you finally are able to manifest what it is that works for you all right i hope that makes sense we have the, the king of cups in reverse for you for the week of january 4th to the 10th 2021 and um, can you clarify why the King of Cups is in reverse here for Aquarius? Uh, there's some triggering going on. So this is, um, you're dealing with, you've got to be dealing, this is, this is, this is grieving. So we've got the Four of Cups in reverse, we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse, and we've got the Five of Pentacles. This is straight up feeling left out in the cold. This is a situation that you're, you're, you're grieving. Um, you're thinking about some type of date coming up, some kind of, there's a trigger of an anniversary date, a birth, oh, this is your month. This is a birthday month. So it could be that you have a special birthday. It could be just birthday in general or anniversary date is triggering you because this is, this is um, just grieving here. This is grieving the loss of somebody or like not having the ability to celebrate something with somebody there is, there is a sense of loss or um, somebody missing from this energy over here. Then we have the Knight of Wands and we're back to what it is that you want to create in your life. So in this week, it's reinforced as a lack of passion in your life. And then we have the Six of Wands, which I really love because again, you know, it goes into this idea of you want victory for your life, Six of Wands. And you want, it's, it's interesting because it feels like what you're going to be dealing with is communication. I just got that for you, Aquarius. Um, there's going to be something to do with communication and it's going to, and it has, it's really, really strong here because if you look at this card, I'm going to hold it up to you. You can't see it because the light's going to glare off of it. But what it is, is a man on a horse, there's flags being held up. But what it is, what's more important is the crowd that are, holding up wands of communication and what feels very very strongly is what it is you're going to be manifesting has to do with communication and crowds that's what it feels like can you see that so right here is the crowd i'm sorry right here is the man on the horse right here is them holding up all the flags this is victory but what it feels like for you what it feels like for you is that what you're manifesting is something in the communications. It is something in, um, uh, you know, there's an audience, there's communication, there is the spotlight, there is, there is lots of things here. And it does feel like an energy of career path, of, of business of that kind of thing it is a very independent energy it is a leader not a follower it is innovation all right that's the energy surrounding this card and there's a lot of good fortune i feel surrounding this card too go back i'm now being drawn back to moon cycles spirit world is bringing me back to moon cycles for you and this card they're also bringing me back to fertility which is giving birth to new ideas so please look that up and see if it ties in with what you're, there's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough this around this time period where you have the courage to move forward and look at the inner truth of what's going on inside of you and having the courage to own what it is that you want and give birth to new ideas of how you want forward movement in your life. 
um, Aquarius, okay? So I do feel what's crowning this reading is actually the Six of Wands, this victory card, and um, the breakthrough, the clarity that you have of how you want to move forward. So um, Aquarius, thank you for joining me. And look at that, your spirit person didn't disrupt the reading and throw cards all over the place. There's a first time for everything, isn't there, Aquarius? All right, you have a good week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.